Hey everybody, Forty Seven here, and welcome back to the channel. Sorry about the lightning; looks a bit weird. My usual device doesn't work. I don't know. I have to fix it, and I need to make this video right now. Uh, so I'm, <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about it. Uh, I'm here with your favorite video, Marky Matchups. I already did this once, but for some reason my audio wasn't capturing. So here I am doing it again. Hopefully, I'll make it faster, uh, guys. I know, you're looking at this and you're just, what's Arsenal doing there again? It was last week. Well, you know EA isn't fond of doing uh, twice in a row, but sometimes they do that just to trick us. And this game is actually important. Uh, I'm going to explain. Arsenal, I'm going to explain two things actually. Arsenal uh, is in fourth place and Spurs is in um, fifth place, but they have one point difference, which means if Arsenal loses or draws, and Tottenham wins, uh, Arsenal's gonna lose their spot for the Champions League. So it's very important. And there's another reason, like this is me creating new rules why I'm putting stuff in. But there's also another reason. Because when last week, it was like the game was on, on the middle of the week. That's why I didn't put it, because EA doesn't usually put games from the middle of the week. So EA, yeah, does whatever you want. But because there was a game of Arsenal versus Spurs, there was a game this weekend, and there's then this game. Um, I'm breaking the rules and I'm putting Arsenal there. But I do have one big favorite, but I'll, I'll explain in a little while. Then we have Atletico versus Real Sociedad. Um, so if Atletico loses, they will lose the third place for fourth place, but that doesn't mean a lot because um, it's like Champions League access, it's the same. Also, Real Sociedad is in 6th place, like 3 points ahead of Villarreal. If Real Sociedad ends up losing the game and Villarreal wins, that means that Villarreal can take the 6th place, which means they will take the place for the Conference Cup, so it's like it's a European position. So it's actually very important, It's actually, I think this is an important match. Then uh, these two matches that I think they're going to be very very important. Let's start with the Sunderland versus Wycom Wanderers. Uh, why is this game here? I know I don't usually put League Free. It's it's League Free, right? Uh, I don't usually put League Free, but it's like a playoff. We don't have that. Well, we now have that in Portugal, but it's quite recent. But it's a playoff, so the team that wins goes to the first division. No, sorry, the second division of English football. So I'm gonna say it's a really, really, really important match. Then, finally, the Monaco versus Lens. I'm going to go get the information here because this one is actually important. I already did this. I already deleted the information. But I had this. I did it so beautifully. Okay, so Monaco. Lens. This is actually quite interesting. This is, I've, I would say, the most important match. I, if I had to bet one to go 100%, I would go in this one, in Monaco or Lens players, in my opinion, but I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, but I'll explain why. So Monaco has 68 points and it's in second place, and Olympique Marseille is in third place with 68 points, and Rennes is in fourth place with 65 points, okay? If Monaco ends up losing against Lens, Okay, if end up losing against Lens, they and Olympique Marseille and Rennes win, Monaco can go from second place to fourth place and go from Champions League access to a Conference Cup access. Okay, if they draw and Marseille wins, they will go from uh, the second place to third place. So they will go from Champions League to uh, UEFA Cup. Okay, when it comes to Lens. If Lens wins and Nice and Strasbourg loses, Lens can go, I think this is a playoff for the Conference Cup. I'm gonna say that. So there's a lot on the line with, so this is really, really, really a great match. There is a lot of things, sorry, I'm looking down here. There is a lot of things going on here. Uh, so yeah, if I had to invest, I would go with this one because I think this is gonna be the sure thing. I hope, I hope that's going to be the sure thing. But again, listen to me, guys. If 
you buy them today i'm putting this video a little bit early if i'm not mistaken because i'm going to be busy all day but listen to me if you buy players today and even tomorrow morning so monday morning because this is on a sunday and if you buy them for like 400 500 on monday usually there's an 80 plus spc that requires rares and non-rares and the non-rares usually rise a lot okay so even uh, you can hold then hold your investment investments until thursday and if i'm not right then you can sell them not for the profit that you would want but you can sell them for a profit okay then about the requirements i would say they would choose one from arsenal and one from everton or two from arsenal or two from everton then one from atletico madrid or one from Real sociedad uh, then one from monaco or one from lens and uh, they would put league two i think it's what it's called league two the one from wycom and the sunderland that's my prediction guys i hope you like it i know a lot of people make money uh, i have to say thank you to haji because he he keeps uh, replying and commenting on my videos saying i made 300 000 coins thanks to you i'm happy i can help you man i'm very really happy and i'm happy to help everyone else guys there should be a sub button up here oh, my finger again there should be a sub button up here uh, please leave a like a comment hit the bell icon you know all those good things that make us grow i'm counting on you and there should be something over there as well and i'll see you on the next one bye